Hi everyone, this is Cindy with the RainbowElephant.com website and today I want to talk to you about a new drawing method that's called Doddle. Doodlers, line weavers, repeat pattern artists, zentanglers, I think you're all going to enjoy Doddling. This drawing method was developed by my good friend Ellen Walters. She's an art therapist located in the Netherlands and she's also a member of our lineweaving.com community forums. This drawing method produces beautiful works of art using dots as the centerpiece and the starting point for your design. So let me show you how it's done. First you want to draw some dots on your paper. Draw them in varying sizes and place them randomly across the page. Of course you can add dots in multiple colors as well. Once we have a good number of dots on our page, we're going to start adding some repetitive patterns there. Working the patterns around the dots. Allowing each dot to remain an object in and of itself, we're not going to let any of these repeat pattern lines actually touch the dots. For example, if I wanted to use one of my dots as the center of a flower, I would draw the petals around this dot but not actually have any of the petal lines touching the dot. We're going to continue in this manner, weaving lines and working patterns throughout the entire page. Now let me show you what this would look like in my sketch pad. First, I'll add some dots in varying sizes and place them randomly across the page, and maybe I'll use multiple colors as well. Then I start working some patterns around each of these dots remembering not to actually have any of the lines touching my dots. Each dot keeps its own integrity as it continues to be an integral part of my overall design. Once I'm finished adding patterns, I'm going to go ahead and add some color to this as well. As you can see, the doddle method of drawing is easy enough for even the youngest of artists. And doddling has so many creative opportunities as well because you can use practically any pattern design alongside your dots. You can doddle on lots of different types of art projects. Here I've used doddling to create an artist trading card. You can get more information about how to doddle at Ellen's website located at the link below. And I'll be sure to include this link at my blog as well. As you can see, it's not in English, so I'm not even going to attempt saying it. So if you're like me, when you go to this website that is primarily written in the Dutch language, you're going to have to use a tool to translate it to English. I use the Google Translation tool. Now she has the description of how to doddle located under her journaling section. So click on the journal page tab and scroll all the way down until you get to the post titled Outside My Comfort Zone, The Birth of a Drawing Method to Doddle. Here she explains how she developed this method and I think you'll enjoy reading it. Plus she's got lots of beautiful art on her website and you can learn about her art therapy as well. After you have visited Ellen's website, be sure to pop back over to the RainbowElephant.com blog and join me for some more repetitive art fun.